According to Islam, if a person says this person is modest, is that this person is shy, humble, and the last one, he's shameful. He makes sure that he doesn't make shame of anything, his family doesn't bring, his, bring himself to shame or bring his family to shame. So modesty means shy, humble, or shameful. Now that's why it says haya, modesty is everything about modesty is good. If one of you have modesty in you, if one of you is shameful, one of you is shy, one of you is uh, humble, everything about you will be good. That was the normal meaning. Now what is the Islamic meaning of haya? Islamic meaning of haya is being aware of what is right and what is wrong and refraining from it due to shame. Yeah, you don't refrain it, you don't refrain on it because of Islamic reasons. The only reason you're refraining from it is because of shame. And that's something very good. A person, how would you be shameful in front of your parents? You know, how would you be modest in front of your parents? You know what's right, you know what's wrong, and you'll be shameful. How would you be shameful in front of your parents? You respect them, you will talk to them politely, because you know that's right. And the only reason you're talking to them politely is because you don't be see shameful. When you're walking on the street, you walk in a proper manner with proper dress because you don't want to show other people how you know how you, you don't bring shame to yourself. That's why they say haya is everything about haya is good. Because look, you don't have to be a Muslim to have haya in you do. Yeah, you could be a normal civilized human being. A person that's brought up in a good family, yeah, a good family, he's brought up in a good area, he's brought up everything good, and if he's got haya in him, then he's gonna be good. Yeah, and that's what you need to bring. That's why the Prophet said there's, there's there's you know the sentence I'm gonna say now, yeah. The hadith I'm gonna say now is being passed down from prophet to prophet to prophet to prophet. That's the only narration that's been passed down from all the prophets. Yeah, and that is if you have no shame, you will do as you wish. Yeah, you don't you don't care about your own family shame. You don't think about your own dignity. You don't think about your family dignity. You just do it as you wish. That's why if a person has shame in him, he stops. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna think. Of, I'm gonna think to myself. This is something that's gonna bring shame to me. It's gonna bring shame to my parents. It's gonna bring shame to my family. It's gonna bring shame to my teachers. It's gonna bring shame to my school. It's gonna bring shame to everything that is associated with me. So you're gonna stop because of shame. So when you walk down the streets with uh, trousers half that, halfway down your backside. And you will think to yourself, yeah. You will think to yourself, look, I'm bringing shame. Yeah, I'm bringing shame to all those people around me. But if you have shame in your heart, you will stop. Yeah, but if you don't have no shame in your heart, you will do it. Yeah. If you have no shame in your heart, you will drink down the street. You will walk down the street with alcohol in your face. Yeah. So that's why shame is a very, very important thing. Yeah. So that's the important about. That's why the prophet said, you understand, everything about haya, everything about shame is good. The more shame you have. The more you will refrain from sin, you will go into Jannah. Shame, refrain from sin, go into Jannah.